Several concerned citizens have stepped forward and expressed that this is not only a transgender issue, but it is also an issue of a woman's right to privacy and a safety issue. These individuals are not only humans, just like us, but they're our peers and our friends. I know it would make me a lot more uncomfortable having to see a transgender student forced to utilize a bathroom or locker room of the gender they don't identify as, not allowed to be the person they truly are. Yes, I respect. We all respect him. We all do. They're, they're people just like us. But we are, not everyone here is comfortable with having them in our bathrooms or our locker room. Sydney Krams? Uh, While well, it was not my initial intent to speak, I find it hard not to after hearing some of the comments made at the last Board of Education meeting. I've heard several comments from parents, teachers, and otherwise well-intentioned adults who claim to be advocating for non-transgender students, saying that they are concerned for our privacy. I would like to thank these people. And while I appreciate their intense consideration of my well-being, I'm up here today to make it perfectly clear that as a non-transgender student of Pascag Valley High School, I support proposed policy 5756.